Have you ever asked yourself, if I could go back, what's one thing I would have done differently when I first started my creative journey? I know mine, and it's not, oh, I should have started earlier, or you know, I should have said yes to that one opportunity that slipped away, or I shouldn't have invested so much money in gear up front. It's something I've spent my entire career doing, but only became aware of recently. And there's a good chance it could be holding you back too. My biggest regret, being a lone wolf. And I think some people take pride in that. I mean, for a long time, I did too. I remember I would get people asking me like, how I created that video, who edited it. And I felt proud in saying that it was all me. It felt good to know that I was knowledgeable and confident in all aspects of content creation. In many ways, I felt I was more valuable and desirable as a content creator and to potential clients by doing it all myself. And to some people, a jack of all trades can be more valuable, but that's not my point here. Let me explain. I'm five years down this road and I've hit so many milestones. My channel is bigger than I ever thought it could be. I've been working with my dream clients and I've gotten to travel the world doing what I love. But I came very close to not reaching this point. A few years ago, I realized I can't do it all by myself. There's this odd conundrum. Being a creator is initially a very solo journey. Watching hundreds of hours of videos, researching all of the gear, setting up a shot and running back and forth to the camera. You quickly realize you have to be pretty damn invested to figure out this entire creative process. And it makes so much sense though. Like, our brains learn so much quicker when you practice the process as a whole, instead of just practicing the basics and hoping that the rest will fall into place. Over time, as we continue to level up our craft and refine our skills, we can get trapped in a mindset of feeling like we only have ourselves to rely on while bringing a vision to life. Let's be honest, like it's not exactly easy to just start collaborating with other people or find someone to hire onto a project. The truth is that for many of us, there's a sort of selfishness with being a creator. It becomes so easy to look at what our peers and friends are doing in the space and feel like it's all a bit of a competition. You feel like you can't share how you do what you do because that would be like a magician revealing his tricks. The process is not nearly as pretty as the presentation. A lot of times it can be messy, confusing, even flat out painful to bring a creative idea to the finish line. It's a scary thought, the idea of allowing others to see the faults in our creative process. There's a saying, if you're the smartest one in the room, you're in the wrong room. But if you're the only one in the room, then what are you going to gain? The truth is, you are not the best at every role in the creative process. And that's okay. There's a reason why movie sets have hundreds of feet on the ground behind the scenes. Why a five-star restaurant has 10 people working on the same dish at any given time. Why we've all heard a million times it takes a village to raise a child. When you open yourself up to working with others, you're creating an opportunity for their strengths to offset your weaknesses and for you to do the same for them. At the end of the day, collaboration is key to any high quality product or outcome. It took me years to realize this for myself and even longer to actually accept it. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Creation is connection. When we create art, we connect with an audience by sharing our experiences, our feelings, insights. When we collaborate, we share these things with our fellow creatives, and that process deepens our creative wisdom. The big mental holdback that I went through, and I think a lot of people struggle with, is the idea of not being able to make as much money if you just 
do it all yourself. Like, eh, I can probably take care of that edit. What becomes so dangerous about that approach is that you are at much higher risk of burning out and potentially losing the passion for what you do. That mindset alone put me through some of the deepest creative ruts I didn't know if I would make it out of. But in the more recent years of my work, taking on bigger and bigger client projects, working with some of my dream brands here in these videos, I've realized that none of it would be possible without the people I've surrounded myself with and invited into my creative process. If you feel so alone in your craft that you don't have people around you, you feel comfortable messaging for advice or information or even collaborating, well, then don't make the same mistake I did five years ago. I'm here, send me a message. Let me know what you're working on. Believe it or not, there are people who want to hear or who might even give you career altering advice, or even potentially introduce you to your next client. There are people who want to work next to you.